that uh, was honored uh, before the game. They done some great things for our program, and uh, Joe Spielman, the head trainer, just want to thank him also. Uh, great game for us. We needed that game. Uh, I thought we battled all night, um, holding them to 36%. What we really wanted to concentrate on is to keep them off the three-point line. I think we did that. Them shooting 66 uh, for 31. So I'm um, very proud of our guys. I thought the biggest play was the second half when Mo uh, played some great one-on-one -on -one defense with Obi. Uh, Jalen came back, uh, still pursued the basketball. and got a block from behind, and we came back down. Um, and got a three-point shot with Jalen being being um, unselfish and throwing uh, the skip pass to Tyler. And, you know that was his only shot, but it was a it was a big shot. And um, you know I'm proud for the young fella. Uh, the thing that I really loved about Mo, Mo had three blocks, but he changed the number of shots back in the, our back line, and you know our bigs are our cornerstone um, of our defense. And I thought he did a good job, and Jalen was. Uh, on Jalen tonight, uh, 25 and 8 and 2, can't ask for a better performance. Couldn't get him out the game, um, and he wanted the ball at the end of the game, which I'm very proud of. Question: Christian didn't shoot the ball that well, but he had 12 rebounds. Yeah. I mean, is that seem to be a little determination on his part to get rebounds in the second half? Yeah, I think I think CV is determined to lead our team in rebounding. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he's determined to do that. So. Uh, I think that might have sealed it too uh, with them 12 rebounds. But he's just a great basketball player. Um, he's not afraid to stick his nose down there and get on the floor. And that's what he did tonight. Um, shot didn't fall, but you know he did other things to make an impact in the game. And that's what we want all our guys to do. Kevin, why do you think Jalen was more effective tonight than he was the first time he played Temple? Uh, he just took his time. I thought you know Terry being out there on the court, you know, spacing the floor um, really helped where Obi couldn't sit in the lane and, uh, and clog up on uh, driving lanes for Jalen. thought Jalen took his time. Um, his three ball was working today, too. And when he starts shooting the three, he's pretty much unguardable. Um, when you're knocking down threes because he's so good with the basketball off the bounce and getting to the lane. So um, I thought he did a good job. But I'm, probably, I'm so proud of the eight assists and two turnovers. Um, I'm an old school point guard, so I like those numbers. You got some, not only Tyler, but Antoine hit some big shots. Yes. It's important to get those <coughs> contributions from guys like that when they keep on jailing. Yeah, definitely. I think it opened the game up a little bit. I think Antoine got a couple, you know, uh, mid-range uh, shots to go in. Got fouled on a couple of them. Uh, Tyler had some good drives, uh, you know, um, in years. In, in next year and later on, he's going to be dunking those. Uh, and um, I was very proud of him. And like I said, Antoine did a great job. Uh, we just got to continue playing this way. Um, you see 16 assists, 10 turnovers. That's an ideal game for us. Um, so I thought we just did a great job in the winning game, shooting under under 37%. Uh, shows that we kept down and, and we made the shots when they counted. Can Mo give you some, some offense to him and get that nice little jumper baseline? Oh, yeah. He's improved there a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and if you kind of know the game, Mo has some great hands. And when he catches it, he can finish down there. Uh, so um, that's why we try to put him in some pick and rolls. Um, I thought he got a fantastic pass on the road and finished it. Uh, so, you know, we just want to keep him healthy, um, keep him out of foul trouble. And when he gets on the court, he can play 20 minutes for us. Um, I think he can be a great contributor to us um, in the future. Josh had six rebounds in 11 minutes. So if you like what he got Yes, I did. Um, Josh did a good job, uh, especially early on in the game, keeping the ball alive. Um, and uh, gave us a presence down there, especially coming out the second half. Um, I believe he had one rebound, and then he got that um, got that roll to the basket, uh, which kind of settled the game down for us. We hit a three, and then we got rolling in the second half. So very proud of his performance also. Did Terry look more comfortable without the mask, too? I think he's playing better with this. Yeah, I mean, um, I think this was his last day um, I'm wearing it. Um, and then I think he kind of messed it up in the back there so he could, he could just throw it off. So I mean, he still had one one day to wear, one night to wear, but I think he messed with the straps or something like that. So he got rid of that thing real quick. And I looked down at James. James gave me a thumbs up. I was like, all right. Uh, so I think it took him a little while. Uh, they were going to start posting him up a little bit. But when he found out it was going to be all right, nobody hit it. I think in the second half, he really did a good job on Ovi denying and uh, playing tough down there. Would you do better defensively than you haven't been done, done recently? Is it just being more active? Yeah, just being more active, um, getting out the shooters, you know, getting back in transition. Um, 
we got to still work on that. But um, I thought we was uh, keyed in, we was alert, we played with effort, and uh, we was also disciplined. When you put those three things together, um, you're going to have a good defensive effort out there. Thoughts on sending Terry off tonight? With his What's that? Thoughts on sending Terry off tonight here at home? Oh, it's great. Uh, not only Terry, all our other guys too. But um, I think Terry's, you know, had some ups and downs in his career here, uh, torn ACL. Uh, people just don't realize he's probably been out two years. Been out two years uh, with the transfer rule where he had to sit out and then tear his ACL and not for a game of the season and uh, playing. I think he's really, you know, getting his reps in and um, you know having. The fracture uh, to, um, in his face. I mean, all those setbacks are hard. And, you know, one thing I'm proud of him um, and all of our guys, they graduate. Uh, Terry is graduating, which is a great thing, and nobody can take that away from us. Um, you know, our fifth year guys are graduating, which I'm very proud of. And Mike and um, Mike and Fox are just graduating. So, you know, that's what we want to key on. Um, you know, I know it's all about wins and wins and losses, but the most important thing is about us having moments of we teach them life lessons and they get their degrees. And that's something they're going to always keep. So we want to keep that going. Kevin, I'm sorry if you were asked this already. Uh, what did you tell them at halftime? Because you looked like a different team in the second half. Yeah, we just we, we wanted to keep doing what we was doing defensively and get back on get back on uh, defense and transition and keep them off the three-point line. I just thought we'd start sharing the basketball. And Jalen kind of took the game over. If he wasn't making passes, he was making pretty assists. And, um, you know, I thought Twan and, you know, all of our guys, Mo came out and played. And like I said, CV was the toughest guy on the boards for us. And, you know, Terry hit some shots too, um, which was good. Um, so we loosened them up on the three-point line. Uh, so I thought it was all in all a good game. Uh, second half was a, was a greedy, gritty game. We gave up some things, but we also took advantage of them um, on a fast break. And Jalen breaking down his defender and giving him the paint and making great passes. How important was it to get a win out of this in the last home game for their mindset going to Houston and then into next Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's key. Um, we put on the board uh, last night for our seniors and you know playing with heart. Um, so that was that was all that was. You know, just playing with heart, playing unselfishly, playing for those guys, and you know hopefully you know have this home crowd uh, leave Gamble uh, for the last time this season with a win because at the end of the day this crowd and. They've been great. It's just all the ups and downs we've been going through the season. But, you know, they stayed back and cheered for us. We had some phenomenal crowds at the XL Center in Gamble. So I really, really, you know, thank them uh, for continuing to come out and support our guys. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it.